In this video, we will start to add a login anonymously inside our application. First of all, you will go inside authentication and press on get started. Then on this page with the sign in method, we will activate or enable the anonymous method. As you can see, the anonymous has been activated. Then inside the main folder of our Flutter app, we will delete pretty much everything until the line seven. Then we will say stateless widget and we will call the name of this class, the my app. So you can delete the key first and then replace the name for my app. Okay, so we are inside the main.dart folder. Then we will return instead of the container, we will return the material app and we will add the home argument. We will work later on this one. Okay, after that, what can we do? We can add another file. So inside the library, as you can see, we were inside the main.dart and you can go in, uh, you can create, for example, the decision tree dot dart, just like that. So decision tree. And after that, we can import the material package. So we just write material inside and we select the flutter material. Then we will create another state, uh, state widget. And this one will be the state full widget. So let's create this one. So decision three. So this is the name of the class. Then we can remove the key because we will not use it. And we will return inside this decision tree uh, class. What we will return in the build will be a login page. So we will return a login page that we will need to create for sure. So let's create our login page as well with a new file call it the login page dot dart. So login under page dot dart. That's good. Okay, we will need to import the material as well on this one. So we say import material dot dart and enter. That's good. After we will need to create the stateless widget. So this one and the name of the class will be the login page. This will, uh, first of all, we remove the key and this will return a scaffold so as you can see, we take this one and inside the scaffold, we have the app bar argument. We select it and then we use the app bar widget. That's good. This app bar widget can take the title argument and the title argument will be uh, what we will put inside will be the text widget to display text on the screen. And we will put it in uh, inside and we will say login page. Just call the text name login page. So login page. Here we go. That's good. Next step will be to uh, refactor this page. So I will uh, format document, sorry. So I just format document. And inside the home now, what we can do is import the decision tree. So that means the main, uh, the main file will return the decision tree. And inside the decision tree, we will return even the login page or the um, home page. So in the decision tree, we return the login page, but we will need to import it to be able to use it. That's good. So now we have the login page. Next step, we can go, uh, I will close all. We can go in the main, in the material app, just to remove the debug banner. So debug banner, false. Good. Next step will be to create an home page. So let's go inside the library LIB and say new file. And this one will be the homepage.dart. So when we log, when we uh, are in uh, not login, so when we are not login, we will be inside the login page and otherwise we will be in the home page. That's why. So the import will be the material and we will call the stateless widget once again. This stateless widget will be called the home page. We can remove the key. And then 
uh, this build will return a scaffold. So we can go inside the login page to copy the, the scaffold inside this one. Instead of rewriting it, we will uh, copy this one. And then we go inside the home page and we paste it right here. So we make a, the most simple application just to show you how to use the Firebase login. So we will say home page. That's good. So now we have a login page and a an home page. The main folder will return the uh, decision tree and this decision tree class will return the login page. So that's why we can see the login page on our screen. If we write the home page instead, this will return the home page. This is this was just to show you show you how to do it. So we will put back the login page. And as you can see, we have it right here. Next step that uh, so I will uh, remove this uh, double importation. And the last thing that we will need to do will be to go inside the popspec.yarn and to put the dependency of the Firebase. So we have two dependencies to have. First, we will remove this part of command. And after the Cupertino icon, you can press enter and you need to write the text on the same line of Flutter and Cupertino. So it cannot be like this. You need to be uh, aligned with Flutter and Cupertino. So you say Firebase under an auth and you use a, a version. So if you use the same version of me, you will never have problem with coding this course. But if you change the version, maybe the Flutter uh, Firebase will update some code and it may have some problem later. So if you use the same one, it will be good. Then you click on Get Package and you will see this uh, pop spec Get Package. So it was a little arrow on the top. And if you go inside the main, we will need to add um, something before the run app. This something will be to uh, tell the application that we will use the Firebase um, plugin inside our application. So we will call the import of Firebase core and we click on this one. Then we only need to add two more lines. After the main, we will say widget flutter binding that ensure initialized. And the last one will be the await firebase dot initialize app. And then as you can see the await need a async. So we will put the async just before the main right here. And as soon as you write async, everything is good. So we have initialized our Firebase app. So when we restart, we have a little error and this error is Firebase initial record. So it say, okay, you need to initialize the app. So we will quit this. We will close the application with the red, red square and we will rerun the application just to get the initializer this time. So we rerun the application. Here we go. And then when the application will be rerun, everything will be set up. We will have our login page and our home page. And what we will do on the next video will be to add a button in the middle, click on the button, log in anonymously, and go back inside the home page as soon as we are logged in. So that's it for this video and see you on the next one. Bye.